What's up Marinas? This is Avilash Thakur and welcome to Sailor's Guide. So today we have to jump on to rule number two. I have uh, written here only the part A. We have two parts in rule number two that is part A and part B. As you can see, as you have already known in your ROR books, you have given the rule number two that is responsibility. Okay, as the first rule we have covered application. That basically says where these rules will get applied. Now the rule number two is responsibility that whose responsibility is to comply with these rules and if they don't, what is going to happen. Okay, so first part we will go line by line. It is very easy to understand. Don't worry. Let's start. Nothing in these rules shall exonerate any vessel or the owner, master or crew thereof from the consequences of any neglect to the comply with these rules up to here we will cover up first okay so they are saying nothing in these rules there is nothing in this rule which shall exonerate now what is exonerate exonerate means not guilty or you can say escape yeah and who else will not be able to escape any vessel honor master or crew these people or the vessel will not be able to escape by using these rules why they want to escape from the consequences of any neglect to comply with these rules if they do not follow the rules which are given in the ROR of course there will be the consequences and they will not be able to escape from it by using these rules. Let's say in the rule they have said that it is the other person's duty to keep clear of you and you have not and you have seen that that person is not able to keep clear of you and for some reason he was not able to uh, keep clear of you or maybe he was slept, I don't know what it is. But your vessel is going to collide with that vessel. So you have to do something about it. It's not like you let it collide and then say that this is the not my duty, that was the other person's duty. No, it is not like that. You cannot use the rules to escape from the situation. Okay, you cannot find any loopholes that you can get out of it. It is not possible. If you neglect any of the rules, it will be a big, big problem for everybody. For who? Vessel, owner, master or crew, it means everybody. Or any neglect of any precaution which may be required by the ordinary practice of semen. What is ordinary practice of semen? These are some common sense of, uh, uh, you know, uh, practices which are, uh, which are followed by the semen. So if you also do not follow some common sense, you have not taken precaution accordingly, you will also get stuck yeah you will found yourself guilty you will not be able to escape so basically what it means no matter what happens if something goes wrong everything is going to be on your head you cannot use any rules or loopholes to get out of the situation you are going to get into the trouble and everybody will get into the trouble if something goes wrong if you do not follow the ROR or even uh, if you do not follow the R1 and you will have the consequences okay that is what is a part covers up we will go to the B part I will raise it up write it down and then we will figure it out what it is okay guys so I have written a B part over here and uh, we will go through it word by word okay so they are saying in construing and complying with these rules Due regard shall be had to all dangers of navigation and collision to any special circumstances including the limitation of the vessels involved. Up to here we will break it down first. Now they are saying in construing and complying. What is, what does it mean? Construing and complying. Construing means understanding. Complying means following. If means if you are understanding and complying with the rules of the ROR you should you should also be careful about the dangers of the navigation now what is dangerous of the navigation 
let's say there is a wreck uh, and you want to alter the course to the starboard and there is a wreck on the starboard side as per the rules it's your duty uh, let's say it's a head, head on situation you will take an example here so as per the uh, rule number 14 both the vessels should take alteration to the starboard side but let's say here is the shallow patch so what problem is here that you cannot alter the starboard now as per the rules but if you do you're going to run aground so you don't let it happen okay otherwise it's a big problem so what is the point of following the rule and you're going to get into the trouble so basically what they say that you have to be careful about the dangers of the navigation while following the rules and also what you have to be careful of you should be aware of the limitation of the vessels involved vessels involved let's say these are two vessels not your vessel only the other vessel also other vessel is a big vessel has some tug and tow let's say there is a tug who's pulling this vessel they cannot alter or let's say this vessel is a deep draft vessel the draft is uh, let's say 15 meters full loaded and the channel depth is not too much but you have lesser draft and you can alter you have much more room as compared to this one okay so you can go a little to the starboard and get clear of it but this vessel cannot because of the draft and also there are some other factors let's say speed your draft is one of the factors your speed your maneuverability characteristics how long it takes to alter the course yeah you're in ballast condition you're in loading condition these all things will cover uh, under the limitation of the vessel involved all the vessels in the situation okay which may make a departure from these rules now this is very important which may make a departure from these rules necessary to avoid immediate danger this is very very important this part now the vessel who has some special circumstances and has limitation they can depart from the rules let's say like this one i have given the example this vessel has some special circumstances yeah they have shallow patches and also the limitation is there they can depart from the rules they may not go to the starboard because of this circumstances but as per the rule they should but to avoid the immediate danger they can depart from the rules okay so basically what they are trying to say that you at any cost you have to avoid any collision or any navigation blunder you have to get out of the situation as soon as possible and you can depart from the rules for doing that but you should have a good reason for that you should have some special circumstances or you should have some limitation it doesn't mean that you get depart from the rules all the time no these two conditions should be for any of the condition so special circumstances or the limitation of the vessels involved when these two conditions are there or maybe one of these you can depart from the rules to avoid immediate danger Okay, I hope this thing sums it up and that is what rule number two is all about. They are trying to tell you that it is your responsibility to save the vessel and the people on board. You have to do whatever it takes, either follow the rules or don't follow the rules. You have to save the situation at any cost. Okay, so that's it for the rule number two guys. I hope this video is helpful for you if you find this video helpful please press the like button and subscribe my channel press the notification bell so that you don't miss out the videos who are coming up and also share this video to all of your friends so that it gives me a boost and i can you know get motivated and make more videos on it so this is abhilash takur signing off